Let's think about the large truck that leaves a supermarket full of organic waste. That store pays a lot of money for that to be hauled away, goes in a landfill somewhere. Uh, let's talk about the economics of that, why that store is paying a lot of money to haul things that AG, you say, is full of value, and it goes into a landfill where it emits greenhouse gases. I would say depending on where in the state or where in the country that takes place, you do have folks that are voluntarily taking that instead of a cost to the chain store. They're willing to come and get that product and take it into a compost area because they know they can turn a compost uh, operation and then sell that product back to the farm community. So that, 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 that you have both of that going on. You do have a lot of product going into the landfills. And the landfills someday, uh, 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 without any doubt, will become actually a place of value instead of a place of waste. How so? Well, if you think about a landfill, it's got a lot of biomass in it. It has plastics. It has metals. Um, all those pro products at this point, uh, there's some great processes taking place that you can pull those products out and turn them into a value-added product product with value instead of a waste product. Plastics right now, there's a pyrolysis uh, compression uh, uh, technology that drives plastics back into crude oil. So the minute you start to see that happening, especially if you drive that with a renewable energy source, all the plastics sitting in every landfill suddenly have value. It's a high quality crude oil. There's a, there's a company up in Seattle that's actually up and running, not pilot project, but actually up and running and doing that.